<laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, fellow pandemic, pandemonium travelers. This is day 98, I think, of the Seattle pandemonium shutdown. And we're just, we're just hitting peak levels of absurdity at this point. Um, so part of Seattle, a small six block area, apparently, has basically declared sovereignty from the United States of America. And I, I can't tell you what's going on inside the uh, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, the CHAZ, if you will. Um, allegedly there's crime, and allegedly there's no crime. Allegedly, uh, enforcers, brutes if you will, are extorting businesses as a part of a protection racket for being in the community. Or that's not happening. I can't tell you. Maybe I'll run a Twitter poll later and ask if I should try to go to the zone. Maybe I should go to the zone just to see what's going on, just so I can be in the zone. That is if they let me in, because they're like screening people to come in. I don't know what to tell you, man. And then, you know, and then like the mayor and the, oh God, man, this, start, this starts getting into like, this becomes a local issue as much as it's now become an international issue. Like Carmen Best, Police Chief Carmen Best is a, uh, a strong black woman of color. White silence is violence. Dude, you're white and you're holding a sign. You so... Shut up. God. Uh, Police Chief Carmen Best is a strong, empowered woman of color. And Mayor Jenny Durkin is a LGBT woman. Oh, she's white, though. And for some reason, despite their diversity, they cannot seem to take control of the situation. In fact, uh, they can't seem to communicate with each other. Okay? Do you get the? Do you get what's going on here? Right? Uh, the mayor is saying, "Oh, it's like a concert out there. It's like a block party." Uh huh. And then the police chief is saying, "Oh, there's been a." crazy spike in 911 calls and our our response time has been lowered due to like the the impedance of these roadblocks etc now despite the fact that the quote unquote autonomous zone is still calling in city resources like fire and ambulance to clean up the mess that they're creating never mind that uh, the mayor and the police chief cannot seem to communicate about what is happening inside the zone. Is it a public safety and public health concern? I cannot tell you that. I mean, I can tell you what the different factions have said. I can't tell you whether it's like they're pulling bodies out of there or not. That doesn't seem to be happening. I probably would have heard about that. But when you have people extorting, are they extorting locals and residents and businesses? And then therefore creating their own new law enforcement structure, which is then going to intimidate people into not reporting crimes to the city. Is that happening? I don't know. Is nothing happening in there? Maybe. They painted a Black Lives mural, a Black Lives Matter mural on the street. Alright, go ahead. Uh, that's not my concern. My concern is people going in there thinking that they're in a free zone of some kind and then being exploited because they are being naive about human nature. So we're, we're potentially looking at a uh, Lord of the Flies situation, really, and we've already seen it a little bit. There are some clips of people just shrieking and hollering at each other and just going crazy yelling at each other. We've got people intimidating each other with weapons and stuff. Look. Guys, I don't know how this, whatever this is, really advances the cause of making, I guess, white people uh, recognize that black lives matter, right? 
that was really the point of all of this, right? Is getting, basically, white people to acknowledge that black lives matter. Because apparently, white people think black lives don't matter. That's what I'm being told, right? I'm being told I, specifically, don't think black lives matter. Now again, we've gone over this before, no lives matter, okay? That's basically the reality of the world, is that no lives matter. So, specifically, do black lives matter? Well, no, but I understand why you're mad, okay? I understand why you're upset, and I can even, uh, I can empathize. I can get on board with it. But, at a certain point, you have to go, okay, what is it that you're doing with, like, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, and they issued some demands that are just absurd. Like, I can't even believe... I, 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 I feel like the list of demands I saw was not real. That maybe they don't even have good representation inside the zone because they were like, we want reparations for slavery. And you're like, that's not something the city of Seattle can give you. Like, that's not a... Like, you want the feds to do that? Like, that's crazy. And like, socialized medicine. What do you mean? What are you talking about? That's not, like, that's not a demand. That's like a vague uh, concept, even. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You can ask, I guess, but you're not going to get it. And you're not going to get it just because you occupied a couple of square blocks. And like, again, guys... Uh, this idea that you are... What, what is in the street? Is that... Oh, styrofoam or something. It looks like a ceiling tile. It looked like snow for a second. I thought I was losing my mind. Um, you look up the move bombing in... Uh, what was it? Philly? In like 1985 or something? You had these sort of black activists... Um, forming a community uh, group. Go ahead. Come on. Step on it. Uh, a community of, of black activists. And then they had some kind of armed standoff with law enforcement. And then at some point, the mayor had a helicopter drop a bomb out of a helicopter. And... It like lit up the it lit the neighborhood on fire and like they basically just killed everybody is kind of my understanding. Maybe that's a little vague, but like look at Waco, look at Ruby Ridge. You guys, the the police tear gassing people and using less than lethal munitions, that is the soft hand of state power. Okay? That is that is just that is weak tea when it comes to the state exerting control over something, okay? Like, killing George Floyd in front of people with cameras rolling, that's more like state power. That's state authority and power literally killing people. You guys are LARPing, man. You're, you, like, and when it comes, and when push comes to shove, the thing is, the people who started this won't be the ones who are getting shot with not rubber bullets, okay? Not rubber bullets, real bullets. Not the ones, yeah, the, the ones getting fucking arrested and being charged with, I don't know, treason or something. Like, you're not going to be the ones getting your ass kicked by, what, National Guard or something that comes in? If you don't capitulate they will escalate and use more firepower on you. Now, the only thing saving your ass is optics. The city, the mayor doesn't want to look like the city is getting fucking predator drone bombed. Uh, the governor doesn't want to let it look like uh, he's lost control of a city. And he hasn't, by the way. Again, it's a couple square block area, so everybody just calm down a little bit. Uh, but also... Uh, Trump doesn't necessarily want to be the guy to come in and start shooting people. But there is a certain point where if, especially the lawlessness, that was my original question, is there lawlessness inside the zone? Is there victimization of people inside the zone? And does that then 
obligate the city to reassume control or reassert control because they are responsible for the citizens who pay taxes and stuff. Okay, are you with me? Do you understand kind of the relationship that's going on here? Now, again, I don't necessarily know what the hell's going on inside the zone. It looks mostly like the mayor said, a concert. It's like a block party. People are drumming, they're hanging out, they're talking, they're probably smoking a lot of weed. I don't know, it's what it looks like from videos, but I also see people becoming enforcers. Uh, what's that guy's name, Simon? Uh, appointing themselves, basically, enforcers. You gotta think about how this works, guys. This, yeah, you gotta think about how this works. You, you start getting someone with a little bit of, they grant themselves authority, and then they start getting a little bit of power, and they start asserting that power over other people, and what do they say about absolute power? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. So a little bit of power can still corrupt a little bit. So the community has to police itself. Again, I'm just thinking out loud here, okay? We've been through so much shit the last few years, and now it's all boiling down to this. This is one of these, this is a crutch moment where everything has kind of run up to this. We went through a pandemic, we went through mass looting. My city, the city I live in, is now going through whatever this is, and it's not really affecting a whole lot of the city, it's just like one sort of little, you know, residential neighborhood, but it became an international story, okay? And at some point, they might expand. At some point, the city has to solve it. At some point, it becomes at least a historical footnote, okay? God, you guys. And, and, and also, this is a distraction from, again, a distraction from Black Lives Mattering and how to make that happen, as well as every other problem we have, the national debt, I don't know, taxes, the death toll from coronavirus, the death toll from the freaking bedlam and the rioting. Guys, we gotta, we gotta walk and chew gum at the same time here. We are looking at global water shortage, global energy shortage in not that long. Like when I say a couple decades, that's not that long. This is a problem. There's a variety of problems and we're not addressing them. Why? Because we're rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic, okay? Uh, Jesus. You guys gotta help me out here, okay? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm shouting into the void. Maybe I am. All right, that's enough for me for one day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.